This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at new features in Adobe software. In this excerpt, I want to show you how we can search inside Premiere Pro. This is a documentary. We've seen this one before. This is Dr. Surf and a variety of NASA footage. I want to do a search for NASA footage. And we can see that there are three clips that show up that have NASA footage in them. I can now click this button right here. This is new. This allows me to create what's called a search bin. The search bin is a saved search. So if I clear out NASA here and go back to Dr. Surf and let's go with uh, Space Drone. I'm going to just add NASA and close this up. As I open this back up again, notice that every file that has NASA as either a marker or as a file name shows up as part of this saved search. It's a dynamic saved search so that as I start to add more clips that have the same metadata, they will automatically appear inside this search bin. Again, if you've got a small project of 10 to 15 to 20 clips, you'll never use this. If you have a project that's got four or 500 clips, you'll use this a lot because it allows you to set different search criteria and have it dynamically update as you add new clips. If I take this NASA criteria back out again, there we go, close this, twirl it back up again, ultimately Space Drone should, there it goes, disappears. Why? It no longer meets the search criteria of a file that has NASA in its file name or in its metadata. We've also improved search here inside the timeline. If we type Command F as in find, we can now find all clips that have NASA in the name. We also have a Boolean and or. For instance, I want to have all the clips that have NASA in the name and or, let's make it or, or have Dr. Surf in the name. When I click Find All, all the clips that meet that criteria are highlighted. Earth in Space doesn't have the word NASA. My text clips don't have NASA. My audio clips don't. But there's the Dr. Surf and there's the NASA. What OR does is it contains NASA or Surf. If I change this to a Boolean and, Boolean is simply a fancy word that means a logical construct, and say Find All, what clips have both NASA and Dr. Surf? And the answer is, none of them do. I've got Dr. Surf or NASA, but not a clip that contains both. This ability to find is much more than just names. Look at all the different criteria that we can search on. And when it comes to searching, we can include everything. That would be an OR. OR it is very specific. OR yields bigger results, more results, AND yields fewer results. It has to have both of these for an AND either one of them for an OR. And when we're searching, it can contain the text, start with the text, end with the text, or exactly match the text. And we can even make it case sensitive to narrow things down even further. This enhanced searching inside the timeline is a big deal because it allows us to quickly find and more importantly select all clips that have the same criteria. For instance, you wanted to apply an effect to all of your clips. Say you want to make all the surf clips go black and white. Search for surf. All the clips are then selected. It's easy to then double-click the black and white filter or the desaturate filter, take all the color away, or do a consistent color grade across multiple clips. Or you want to find all of your text clips, whatever. This find has been significantly improved in the October release. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features in Adobe's audio and video software. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 145. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. We've got more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth. 
and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.